How's it going guys? JP here and welcome to Body Bags week number 8. We are currently on the 4th theme week for the month of October and the theme for this week is Stephen King films. Uh, Stephen King films are great. There's so many good ones. There's you know some bad ones too but uh, for the most part there's so many great uh, films to choose from out there and um I decided to go with one that I seen back when it came out. I haven't seen it since and I kind of just wanted to revisit it and uh, it seemed like a perfect time to watch it during this theme week and I just picked it up recently. It is 1408 from the year 2007 with the tagline of based on the terrifying story by Stephen King. Um, this follows a writer uh, played by John Cusack and this writer writes stories about uh, the experiences that he has at haunted hotels or hotels that claim to be haunted, uh, you know, lighthouses and graveyards and uh, any other haunted place that he hears about. He goes, he stays, he, you know, documents his um, experience and then he turns it into a book, um, you know, a compilation of all the places that he's been, top 10 haunted graveyards or whatever. And uh, he is kind of you get the impression right away that he's kind of tired of it all he goes he doesn't see anything he you know writes some lame story that works well for the book and then he sells the book he goes to his autograph signings where there's like 10 people and they're asking him the same questions over and over again you know what what is the scariest place you've ever been to and stuff and he just seems really bored and tired of the whole thing and he really doesn't want to do it but he has to in order to make a living. Um, so he's looking for another place to go to. And he gets a postcard and it's like, it's not the typical, hey, come check out my haunted place. It's super haunted. You know, that really happened. It's true. Um, so he he instantly catches it, his attention because it's it just says, like, you know, come check out the hotel uh, room number 1408 or whatever and uh, he adds the numbers 1 plus 4 plus 0 plus 8 equals 13 and he finds it kind of clever so right away it's like oh you know I, I see what you're doing here you're trying to be different from everybody else um, so his, his idea is to go stay there and you know he, he, he's very skeptical of any ghost uh, story anything demon like that he's just it he doesn't believe in it based on experience it's not that he doesn't a hundred percent believe that it that uh, there are ghosts or anything it's just that he's had so many chances to be you know staying in all these places and it nothing has ever you know showed up or he's never had any experience so he's just completely at this point he's just like yeah they don't exist um anyway going <laughs> way into the story here he gets to the hotel. Um, they don't want to let him stay in 1408 at all. Uh, we have um, Samuel L. Jackson playing the manager at the hotel with a, you know, awesome performance. Actually, he he was very he fit very well as that character. Um, basically, just telling him not to, doing everything in his power, trying to stop him from doing it. But it's not your typical like no, don't go in there type of thing. It's 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 different. Um, of course, uh, it kind of interests uh, John Cusack's character even more, and he eventually, you know, is able to go in there. And from then on, it's just basically um, a trippy, nightmarish style thing happening in, in in that room. It's it's actually haunted, and he's basically just has to deal with it. Um, you know this one is, is kind of cool, and it and it starts off so good, um, in my opinion, and then it it just goes downhill after a little while. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's because it was PG thirteen, and and it after it, it starts going, nothing really escalates. It, there's a lot of cool visuals and cool set pieces and stuff like that. Uh, you know, the room changes, and it, and it looks cool and stuff, but it's just it's not really effective as a, as a scare or anything like that. There, There is a, of course, the character does have a tragic thing that happened to him in his past, which always seems to fit with these kind of haunted type movies because it seems like that's the type of character that, uh, you know, is attracted to these type of uh, buildings and haunted places. So, so it kind of fits. Um, 
I wasn't sure what I thought about it at first, but in the end, I think it kind of worked well, and uh, what they do with uh, his tragic story is kind of cool, and I actually really like the ending. Um, I just wish it, maybe if it wasn't PG-13, it could have went a little bit more hardcore. I think it would have been awesome. Um, I still did like this one, though. I would probably rate this film a 7 out of 10. It has its moments, and uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's worth checking out for sure. Um, so that's my review on 1408, guys. I'll see you guys next week here on Body Bags. Make sure to drop me some comments below. And yeah, peace out.